Whether you're an educator, a parent, or a member of the community, we can all agree that we want every one of our students to succeed and ensure they develop the skills necessary to be successful at every stage of life. That's an easy thing to say, but not necessarily easy to accomplish. In the EVSC, our answer to graduating successful students lies in neuroscience, how the brain works and its impact on learning and human development. When we look deeper into how the brain functions, we can get a better understanding of how students learn and develop new skills. When we combine that knowledge and apply this in a systematic way throughout every classroom in every school, we can set the stage for transformational growth in our students. In order to put these pieces together, the EVSC undertook the creation of GAIN, GAIN, Growth in Academics Through Innovation in Neuroeducation is the EVSC's research-based approach to support healthy, whole student development with the goal for students to graduate high school with the cognitive, emotional, and employability skills needed to be successful at work, at home, and in the community. The implementation of GAIN includes three phases. The first phase lays the groundwork for change. The second phase ensures students' stress loads are balanced and in an optimal state for learning, while the third phase puts the cognitive pieces into place to ensure students are learning and developing at their highest potential. The first phase lays the groundwork for teachers and staff so change can be made at the foundational level. This phase works to refine the systems, mindsets, and beliefs of educators to align to how the brain develops and impacts student learning. The second phase involves introducing curriculum and utilizing instructional practices aligned with neuroscience to ensure students are calm, alert, and ready to learn. This phase ensures students have the fuel needed for learning, problem solving, and persisting on cognitively complex tasks. It also gives students the tools necessary to maintain a balanced stress load throughout the day since research shows us that maintaining this balance positively impacts student learning, development, and health throughout the day. While a quality curriculum is extremely important, without the skills developed in this phase, students' brains are not at a state in which they are able to effectively learn and utilize information that is being taught. In addition, giving students the tools they need to successfully manage their emotions and self-regulate is extremely important in terms of setting them up for success both in the classroom and beyond. Refueling helps students to be able to bring their focus back and to be able to be successful learners and just allowing their time to, or allow them to have a break, to um, get up to move their bodies around. It's going to help them be more focused when it is academic learning time. And I've noticed when a lot of students start to get dysregulated, it, they don't even realize they're doing it. They will just come up, Mr. Johnston, I'm getting really stressed out about this test or about this lesson we're learning. Can I go water the plants, take a break and come back up? And that's just gaining that self-awareness of, hey, I'm stressed. This is something that helps me calm down. That's huge, the ability for them to recognize that on their own, instead of me having to suggest, hey, why don't you take a break? Being intentional and operationalizing this throughout the district is a key part of GAIN. Once the first two phases are in place, we can move to phase three, where students develop and strengthen executive functioning skills, such as working memory, self-control, cognitive flexibility, and focused attention. These skills are critical to success. Through GAIN, students are given not only the opportunity to develop these skills, but to build and practice them throughout the day. The primary executive functioning skills include working memory, focused attention, self-control, and cognitive flexibility. They are the precursors to learning and more complex thinking because they help us to pause and focus our attention on what we're trying to learn. Students can then hold that information in their working memory before sending it to short-term memory, long-term memory, or even discarding it. Because executive functioning skills are the precursors to learning, it's critical we intentionally develop and strengthen these pathways through exercises and activities during the school day. With all these pieces in place to prime the brain for optimal learning, we use curriculum that intentionally aligns with how the brain develops and that creates opportunities for students to have experiences beyond the traditional classroom in order to help students develop deeper engagement and a love for learning. 
When we pair a high quality curriculum that aligns with brain development, students are able to use their executive functioning skills to absorb content knowledge and solve complex problems, think critically, communicate effectively, and be innovative. Ultimately, students will be able to continuously grow and develop the skills needed to contribute positively to their community, workplace, and family. In the EVSC, our definition of success is graduating students that are prepared to become highly successful adults, employees, and community members. We want them to be able to function well in society and have the knowledge and self-regulation skills needed to thrive. Game makes this possible.